Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we are going to be talking about HDR stacking with our Tesla. So if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Alisa Summers. So in a previous video, I did a video over focus stacking. So what focus stacking is, is you take three different pictures of the same exact picture, but at different, different focal points. So you'd have one at like the ground and then the middle and then up at the top. So with HDR stacking, it's taking a bunch of pictures and then combining it into one um, and each one of those pictures are at different exposures. So you'd have something that is super light and bright and then it gradually gets much darker. So we went out and took a few pictures of our Tesla and of the mountains and I will show you how to do the HDR stacking and the results. So come along and I will get it set up. So the first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need Lightroom Classic. Now in this, I like to, when I take my photos off my camera, I like to make a designated folder with all of my pictures in it. And then I like to categorize it. So with this particular video, I have a couple different folders for HDR 1, 2, 3, and 4, I do believe, so that I have a couple of options to choose from which, for which photos I want to actually do the DHR stacking with. So it makes it a little bit easier to find it when I am in Lightroom Classic. So when you're in Lightroom Classic, you're going to want to upload the photos. So here I have the photos that we are going to be uploading. So I have them all marked and then I am going to import them. So then you can see all of the photos that were uploaded. Then you want to go to develop. And then in this, so you can see with the HDR stacking, you go from very bright, to very dark. So now what I'm going to do here is I am actually going to select all of these pictures and then I'm going to go up here to photo and then I'm going to go to photo merge and then in here I'm going to go to HDR. Now it is just creating a preview. This is the preview that I am given. So now what I'm going to do is I, I have it set that it's auto aligned with the auto settings and it's going to merge all, it merged all nine images together. So I'm going to hit merge. So up here you can see the progress line and then and a 10th photo will actually show up. And I did shoot these video or these pictures in raw format. Okay, so now that they are all merged together, this is the final image of all of the pictures together. So I really like it. I think it turned out really good. So now to export the picture so that you want to keep it, you go to file and then go to export and then I'll just have it be up on my desktop and I, I will post a picture of what it looks like. Here are a couple other photos that I did the HDR stack to. So I really love taking pictures and it's really nice to incorporate the Tesla. It's so different and unique and just something that I like to photograph. And so I really think that the pictures turned out really good and I hope I was able to teach you something along the way. 
Um, if you haven't already, please give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. Uh, also, if you do have any comments, please leave the comments down below. I would love to answer any questions that you may have. I don't think I have anything else for you guys, so I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.